Hello and welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. I like slacking off. And I'm Gary. And today we're going to review and discuss the regular show movie? Yeah. Ian, I can't review this. Why not? Because it's a kid's TV show. I don't, I don't know what this is. You, you didn't sit there and reference all those videos that are episodes that I told you to watch? You didn't, you didn't watch any of the stuff I set up for you so you could watch this film? Nothing? No. no. Well, it's a good thing I had a backup plan, isn't it? Klaatu. Verata. Niktu. Yeah. Hey, Dylan. How you doing? Right. You all right? Mm-hmm. Give me a first bump. That's right. I got somebody in to do the review that actually could do his job properly. Whoa! Yeah. Dylan, you ready to review the regular show movie? Yep. Cool. Okay, for those of you who are unaware of regular show, this is a cartoon series that premiered on September 6, 2010, created by J.G. Quintal. Now, J.G. Quintal voices quite a few characters in the actual show. We follow Mordecai and Rigby, a pair of park cleaners who love to slack off from their job, don't they? Yep. They I work with that. Muscle Man, High Five Ghost, Skips, Pops, and their irritating boss, Benson. Which I get fired by. A lot. Mm-hmm. You know, they're always slacking off. Their boss is always constantly going to fire them. And then they end up getting into some weird, fabulous adventure that ends up taking them somewhere else and bring them right back to their job right at the end of the show. Each episode's about 11 minutes long, but they have just made a film. And I'm really excited about this. The sandwich, the sandwich. If you don't eat it right, you're gonna die tonight. It's the Del Sandwich. So come on down to Death Kwon Do Pizza and Subs. And remember, eat it right or you die. The one thing I loved about this show was the fact that there are many many references to loads of videos, films, and games that I grew up with. You've got references to 2001 A Space Odyssey, Akira, Aliens, Back to the Future, Child's Play, Indiana Jones, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Robocop, The Warriors, The Fifth Element. There's some really infamous 70s film called Karatechi Kid. Give us back our burritos. Or Karate Girl that they reference. I've never seen it, but I'm going to tr- probably try and convince Gary to do it. And now they have made a film. A bunch of baby ducks. Send them to the moon. Soda machine that doesn't work. Send them to the moon. So, Ian, why don't you give us the synopsis for the film? Okay, I will. The future. Rigby, a cool looking Rigby is leading an intergalactic park ranger unit against his old best friend Mordecai, who is working with their ex-science teacher, Mr. Ross, and using a time nado to destroy the universe. And it's down to Rigby to go back in time and try and repair his friendship with Mordecai before the whole of history is erased. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah? 
it starts off so cool. I mean, like I said, movie references. Mordecai and Rigby are late for the work meeting, so there's this whole Ferris Bueller opening where they're running for a marathon and they're trying to pick up burritos. <laughs> you know, you get to see everybody doing their things. You know, Skips is kind of doing yoga practice. Mm -hmm. Muscle Man and High Five Ghost are eating cereal and Muscle Man says, <laughs> You know who else has a meeting in eight? My mom! My mom! And then it turns out that Rigby and Mordecai are late. But they swing it past Benson, and then the spaceship from the future crashes. And future Rigby falls out. Oh, I don't think that's a meteor, guys. Whoa. I can't be abducted, Rose. I'm probe sensitive. That's a weird looking alien. Dude, he looks like you. Yeah, but way cooler. Now obviously with time travel and TV shows, especially cartoon TV shows, it kind of gets a little bit weird because I was just like, should future Rigby work in the same universe as past Rigby and would they actually explode and stuff like that? What do you think of time travel? Mm. Gets a bit confusing. Yep. Not as easy to follow as Back to the Future. Mm. Back to the Future, yeah. So, Future Rigby ends up telling them about the Time NATO and Mr. Ross, and he weirdly dies just there. So the guys leave him on the stairs mm -hmm. in kind of like a pose, like they were planning on coming back to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit weird. I mean, you yeah. leaving a dead body just lying on the stairs, even your own dead body. Yeah. Like mine. Like yours. Like we wouldn't leave your dead body on the stairs, would yeah, we? Yeah, going this. Like yeah, with his thumb up. It's a weird pose. <laughs> and then the gang all get together and realize that they they have a mission. They've got a mission to travel back in time, stop past Mordecai and Rigby from building the time machine, mm -hmm. and stopping Mr. Ross. So they jump inside the time machine and they blast to the past. There's a really cool gag there, though, isn't there? Where Muscle Man leaves all of his food supplies on top of the spaceship. Yeah, and all of his food just falls down to the ground. Yeah, and he <laughs> kind of loses it. Wait, where's my stash? Where's my stash? Oh no, bro. And at the same time, you realise Rigby's got a bit more responsibility because it's his ship, he can fly it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they end up going back in time. And... There's kind of like a weird 80s high school thing going on because obviously they're trying to infiltrate into the school to find the younger versions of Mordecai and Rigby. Mm -hmm. And so you have Benson and Pops putting on jackets of the local volleyball team to try mm -hmm. and infiltrate. Yeah. Yeah? You want mm -hmm. to tell them about the volleyball team scene? Uh. Isn't it funny when obviously yeah. the volleyball team comes up and they start bullying Benson and yeah, Pops? And they, and they do this. He throws him up in the air and he says, Spike me! And he hits Benson right on the head. That's right. <laughs> Sorry about the mix up. We have jackets just like these, right, Pops? Your jackets are red too? What are you, from Riverdale? Looks like we got ourselves a couple of dailies. <laughs> I bet we show them what we're going to do to Riverdale at next year's state finals. Yeah, let's show them! <laughs> Set me up, Schwartzman. No, no, don't set him up. Well, while we're watching that, you've got Mordecai and Rigby going to the local amusement arcade to find the past Mordecai and Rigby. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole conversation piece there, which is kind of reminiscent of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, where Bill and Ted first meet themselves and they do the 69 thing. You... He hasn't seen Bill and Ted yet. I'm gonna. I gotta get to that. He's only. He's only six. How do we know you're who you say you are? Yeah. If you're really us from the future, what's on the back of his deck? Oh, a dumb drawing of our made-up character, Senior Sensei. Whoa! Whoa! You love the toilet humor, though, from <laughs> yeah. Muscle Man, don't you? Yeah, what what does Muscle Man do with the toilet? He he presses he presses the button. He walks up. He goes up. And then, and then it scans him. Yeah. And then, 
the the toilet comes, and then a flush thing comes. Yeah. And just takes all his clothes off, it's and his bottom bottom just stays out. His bottom comes down. <laughs> Muscle Man gets all of his clothes sucked off, and he ends up rushing outside naked. <gasps> I'm going in the bushes. You said it. <laughs> Which is weird. And then you have yes. Muscle Man and High Five Ghost from the past who are working in the park, stealing the ship and yep. driving it to the crash pit. Yeah, and the crash pit is a very dangerous place because because you have to you have to drive your car and there's like a slope thing. And, yeah. And it goes up and then if there's things in it, it will go. Down yeah, and yeah. just blow off. Well, obviously that references to the the film references to episodes we've already seen. So, for example, that was reference to Bottom of the Crash Pit, where Mordecai Rigby, High Five Ghosts, and Muscle Man fill up the crash pit with mud. But we obviously in the film get to see the crash pit in the past before they filled it up with loads of stuff. Yeah. But you have the awesome fight sequence between Muscle Man of the past and Muscle Man of the future, and they block each other's punches, they block each other's kicks, and then future Muscle Man says, I know one thing you don't know. Huh? What the? Why can't I fight you, man? Because I'm you, bro, and you're not driving this ship into the crash pit. Whatever. You can't tell me what to do, old man. Actually, I can, because I know something that you don't. What's that? Always guard your pepperonis. And he slaps his nipples into a past muscle man's face. Yeah. And, I love that sequence. And and I love it because because he pulls over and and he gets the ship to, to safety. He does, he does. Obviously, future muscle man and future high five ghosts get the ship back to Skips. Skips has to fix the engine so that they can travel in the into the future again. Mordecai and Rigby have met their past selves and have convinced them to sh destroy the time machine instead of fixing it. Yeah. Benson and, 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 and Pops have managed to get the group get back together and they're heading back to the ship. But then evil Mr. Ross turns up, doesn't he? Yeah. And he puts a new time machine in the place of the smashed one. I need past Mordecai and Rigby back there to create the time NATO so I can get revenge on Rigby. You're crazy! <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, all right. And as soon as I get my revenge, I'm gonna destroy the Earth and then just live on my sweet spaceship and watch tons of TV. The whole story, there's a whole underlying factor in the story where Mordecai and Rigby when they were leaving high school, were supposed to go to university, to, university together, mm -hmm. but Rigby didn't get in, so he forges a letter to Mordecai, mm -hmm. telling him that Mordecai didn't get in, when actually Mordecai did, and so that they could stay friends. But Rigby goes to university, and Mordecai doesn't, mm -hmm. and Mordecai finds out about this in the future, and that's what turns him against Rigby because Rigby has been lying to him all this time. What happened to you, man? How could you work for him? I couldn't stay at the park forever. I had to think of my career. How about your friends? We're not friends. We haven't been friends for a long time. And then the uh, the Rigby and the, the different Rigby and the different Mordecai go yeah. inside. Yeah. They put the things on. They put the thing in. They put a weird plastic 80s watch yeah, and on they top put of it. it. In. And the tiny little crystal melts onto the top of it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and they press the button yeah. and it times travels. Well, it explodes, doesn't yeah, it? But it creates it... the time nado. And so the time NATO is the thing that Mr. Evil Mr. Ross from the future is after so that he can construct it in a weapon and he needed them to make the time machine mm -hmm. to be able to get the time NATO. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Ripty, Ripby and, yeah. and uh, Mordecai, yeah. they um, destroyed the time machine. time machine, but... He got a new one, but he then... He got a new one. And then, um, 
or the end. Well, um, well, we don't want to skip too far ahead. We still haven't talked about the Mordecai and Mr. Ross fight yeah. sequence with the gang. Yeah, because, because, um... Obviously, spoilers. Mordecai, Mordecai and, um... And, uh, Rigby. And, uh, um, Ross were, oh, yeah, were yeah. together. And, yeah, they were and together. They, and they were fighting the other guys. That's right, that's right. There's a whole fight sequence in the school just before the time machine blows up between evil Mordecai of the future and evil Mr. Ross and obviously the gang that have travelled back from the present into the past. I'm getting really confused with this time travel yeah. at the moment. <laughs> but this is where we learn that Mr. Ross has a time traveling collar on his neck he gets shot by muscle man falls onto the floor dead but then the collar rewinds back 10 seconds and brings him back to life <laughs> rewind collar good thing too i don't want to miss this yeah yeah then the room explodes the timenado is created and this actually brings me up to one of my favorite sequences is where mr ross says to everybody i'm gonna go wipe out time, blow up the earth, and then he goes, oh, backwards. Oh! Yeah, and then, and then, and then he shakes, and then he puts his head out, and he says, oh. Yeah. This is what you losers sound like, and nobody likes it. Oh! This is what you guys sound like. Oh! Nobody likes it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Obviously, with this film, the animation is a lot better than the original series. I mean, the original series was... It was still good, but you could tell that nowadays, with obviously the advancements in, in animation and computer graphics and things like that, everything seems a bit more smoother, <laughs> and there seems to weirdly be a bit more detail on it than you would actually expect. But the fact that this is this is an hour film where each episode is only 11 minutes, the time that they've probably put into this is a lot more than they've done with each one of their episodes. It builds up quickly. I know I, I know it's a quick quick review, but at the same time, I mean this film just kind of just flows in one direction and unless you know what's going on, you're going to get lost in all the bits. But it builds up to Mordecai from the present, realizing what Rigby of the present had done in the past and not wanting to be friends with him. So Rigby ends up going one way and Mordecai ends up running off in another with the actual gang. And they all decide to group together to go and destroy Mr. Ross at the Time NATO weapon factory. Rigby at this point has gone off in his own time machine and has ended up getting lost, knocks himself out and wakes up meeting Father Time. Now, Father Time comes from the season two episode, It's Time, and he's just a embodiment of clocks yeah. and, and yeah, watches just, and, and a just, weird little hat as well. Yeah, and he has like a weird hat and the clock is his face yeah. and, he, and he's got like the clock thing and it just goes like outside and inside. Oh, good. You're awake. What happened? Emotions. Feelings happen. And then you slipped and hit your head. Not your finest hour. Want to see my finest hour? It's around here somewhere. Well, this is it's kind of symbolic, really, because all of time is being destroyed by Mr. Ross. Father time is starting to die as well, isn't he? Yeah. And the clocks are actually falling off. And he kind of has a heart to heart with Rigby and explains to him, look, if the whole of existence is destroyed, you won't have time to apologize to your friends. So you should probably just go and say sorry and try and patch it up. So Rigby jumps into his ship and they go flying off into this big, massive battle with lasers and missiles and yeah. explosions. And they're flying up really quickly, aren't they, to the yeah. time later? Yeah, because... Um... Because uh, the whole gang yep. were trying to catch up with Rippy, but but Rippy was was uh, um, trying to catch up with uh, Mordecai, but Mordecai crashed. Yeah, yeah. He he wasn't inside his ship. No, he managed to jump out, didn't he? Yeah, and he managed to be somewhere else. Target in sight. Preparing for docking procedure. Mordecai! 
Mordecai has grabbed a load of uranium rods that he wants to use to destroy the crystal that has got massive since it was first constructed in the time machine. But anyway, it comes down to a big standoff fight with Mr. Ross. Now, this is kind of where I get a bit freaked out because Mr. Ross has the fight with Mordecai and Rigby. And it's a really cool fight with lots of teleporting and time traveling and stuff like that. But they kick him off the ledge. Mr. Ross hits the floor and his shirt rips. Yeah, and he's and got time is on my side tattooed on his chest. Yeah, and once he was down there, yeah. his head came off and, and it was going well, around he, the, he, he, the he, thing. He teleports, doesn't he? he? His collar rewinds time back yeah. and he ends up going back to fight Mordecai and Rigby. Rigby ends up running up, grabbing hold of Tecmo's laser sword and cutting the collar. Yeah. Which inadvertently separated Mr. Ross's head from his body and allowed his head to travel back 10 yeah, seconds. And yeah, and then his head came off and he was going off. around and round and round and he was trying to teleport back, but he was still going around. Yep, he was still going around, stuck through time and Mordecai and Rigby used the uranium rods to destroy the time machine, restore all of time back. Their friendship is absolutely saved and hopefully they should never be late to work ever again because yeah. they have their own time machine. Yeah, and even Mr. Ross gets to go to jail. Yes, sad news. An explosion at West Anderson High has left the entire science department destroyed. Let's go to our aerial coverage up in Chopper 6. Frank? I tell you, Jim, it's pretty crazy down there. I've never seen anything like this. Whoa. Margaret, stay back, sweetie. He does. He does. Because they, they, they show us a bit of a flashback where instead of planning and plotting revenge on Rigby for the next 25 years, he actually has a change of heart and decides just to go to prison. Yep. Which is, which is kind of nice. At least yeah, he's and they try to be, be friends and get something to eat. Yeah, but, they were going to get burgers, weren't they? Yeah, and, but, but he said, can we get burgers? And he said, no, you're going to jail. And he said, oh. Yeah. I says, remember that. Yeah, I remember and then he I'm just goes enough. to jail. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel so much better now. You know, I was about to plan a crazy, complicated revenge plan on you, but now I don't feel like doing that at all. Ha! Now I feel like we can be best friends. You guys want to go get burgers? My treat. What do you say, Principal Dean? Can we get burgers? No, you're going to jail. Oh, yeah. No, March. Wow, wow. wow. Ha. Oh, oh, man, come on. Yeah, I said March. But that's the film, and I absolutely loved it. You know, it's, it's definitely better than Tekken. Yeah, better than Tekken. Yeah. yeah, definitely better than Tekken. And even though it's only an hour, you know, you might not have actually seen the series yourself i would totally totally recommend the series as well for for any parent and any child out there it's kind of off the wall a bit like ren and stimpy yeah. but there are a lot of 80s references in the whole series and the film and, and and movie references i mean talking about favorite scenes what i i thought the Watching Mordecai and Rigby shooting each other at the beginning with lasers was pretty cool. Yeah. Especially with the fact that Mordecai looked like he was in a Viper from Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, because he was going like this. Pew, pew. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. And I mean, like I said, the Ferris Bueller reference as well, where they're running down the street, I thought was a cool opening. But I also love the ending as well. Rigby is planning on sacrificing himself because technically it's the whole thing has been his fault anyway. And... He's telling everybody to get out before the whole place blows up. Now, Mordecai is wanting to help his friend, but everybody is holding him back because they realize that Mordecai can't really help. And they've got the music from Sunshine yeah. playing in the background. Hey, Mordecai, one more thing. Saving the world is the best thing I've ever done. So if you could get Benson to make a sweet bronze statue of me to put at the front of the park, that'd be really cool. No! We have to leave up. So it completely references the sequence in Sunshine where the guy is walking on the shield of the ship and he's telling the other guy to get back. And you've got this really nice yeah. music going. Yeah, it I'm, kind of just brings back the references. I yeah. thought that bit was awesome. Yeah, and Mordecai yeah. got off uh, of, um, of Skips and he helped his, uh, he helped Ribby to... To throw to, the uranium in, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. 
That was cool. Mm-hmm. What about your favorite sequences? Do you have mm-hmm. any favorite sequences? Yeah. Which ones? Um, when he says, my mom. You like Muscle Man's joke? Yeah. At the beginning, that was pretty cool. Yeah, um, I like the I like the bit where they were playing paper, rock, scissors to see who got to fly, fly the ship. That was pretty cool. We always do paper, rock, scissors, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do that. Ready? One, two, three. One more. One, one, two. Oh, he beat me. He beat me. Uh, and at the same time, did you like the little bit at the end where yeah. Mordecai and Rigby were apologising to each other and they were yeah. being friends? Yeah. yeah. Would you recommend the film to the people on the internet and yeah. YouTube? What would you have to say? Why don't you, you look into the camera and, and tell them what you thought of the film? Um, it was a great film, by the way. And um, it's like the awesomest film. It would, better than the Lego movie? Yep. Yeah. Totally. Totally better than Tekken? Yep. Yeah, definitely totally better than Tekken. And definitely better than the Avengers. I think that's a bit much. You don't better not let Josh Whedon hear you say that. Right, well, okay. It's coming to the end of our review of the regular regular show movie. Mm-hmm. I suppose I should probably magic Gary back. Yes. Because I'm going to need him for my next review because you can't watch the next film that we're doing because it's above your age rating. Yeah? And I know what day you're doing. Right, well, I, yeah, I need you to sit still mm-hmm. so I can do that because, you know, if I mess this up, I don't want Gary coming in with his head up his butt or you know, <laughs> his arms so all yeah. over the place. I need, yeah, I need right. somebody to work with, don't I? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay, look at the camera. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Ready? Klaatu. Verata. Niktu. Whoa. Hey, man. Thanks for watching of South Virgins. I study nuclear science. I love my classes. I got a crazy teacher. He wears dark glasses. Things are going great. And they're only getting better. What did you do? Nothing, Skips. Honest. We just went to the bathroom real quick, and when we came back, the ship was gone. The ship doesn't even work. How can it be gone? And why are you naked?